Either one of them looking all that tired just yet. And this pitch just about saws him off as he can't get extended at all. It's strike one. Oh, and he can't hold on there as he swings and misses on a pitch in the dirt, and he's down 0-2 now. And this is part of why he's had a lot of success so far. He's done a lot of work on the edges and stayed out of the middle of the strike. And they tie him up in proverbial knots there as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Number 20 will stand in now to lead things off, and he'll do so with the same pitcher still out there. Seems he's earned himself another inning. I think that's a definite vote of confidence, but he's done a nice job since coming in, so you might as well ride that hot hand. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here, nothing in one. Yeah, he really pulled off of that one, and that's not the kind of swing we're accustomed to seeing from a guy like him. Right, especially starting off an at-bat. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Third strikeout for him now. Got him out front a little bit here. He winds up turning this pitch over nicely, and he gets him to swing right through it. Rene Morales will dig in now, and he'll do so representing the tying run. Yeah, and you're not too worried about this guy jumping the yard on you here and tying the ball game. But if he does find a way to get on base, things get a whole lot more interesting. On to first, and there were two down. And guys, you can't win if you can't score, so there's probably not a whole lot of debate about who'll take home tops player of the game honors in this one. Yeah, definitely no, no debate as far as I'm Welcome back to the Minor League Pregame Show. I'm Matt Vaskersian, bringing you closer to Southern League play as we take a look at tonight's Bowman Prospect Spotlight. Number 20 will be our focus as he enters this game riding a 10-game hitting streak. Steve, what do you think about his chances of extending it in this game? Well, Matt, we all know that these streaks are always tough to keep going, especially when people start to catch on that they're actually happening. Plus, the pressure just keeps rising the longer they get. Now, this isn't really that long a streak by any means, so I doubt that he's feeling any pressure yet. I think he's just really having fun with it. But if he continues to stick to that same approach he's had over the last 10, I think he's got a good shot to keep it going for a little while longer. And you know, 
It always helps if you get that hit out of the way in your very first at bat. So we'll see if he can get that done in this one. All right, lineups and first pitch are coming up next. Stay tuned for that right here on the show. The stars of tomorrow get their shot in the limelight today as the show's coverage of the Southern League is on the air. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Tennessee Smokies and the Birmingham Barons. Number 20 will stand in for the first time, and you see the numbers there as he's done well during this 10-game streak. Line hard into left, but pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. And that's one of those plays where you might need to reinforce the laces on your glove after this inning ends. This is a fastball, and it is hammered. I mean smoked. But he ends up with nothing, and his average is going to go down. Swing and a hot shot towards the hole. And that'll find its way into right field for a one-out single. A couple of hard-hit balls here to start the inning. Well, the first one found a glove, but not this one, though. He's on with a one-out single. Number 20 will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Number 20. And this is fouled back and out of play. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two. And that's the right spot for that slider. Really try hard to tie him up inside. And that's a good job to lay off, too. And this is going to be a foul ball. Another one-two delivery. Well hit. Deep right center field. And the fourth inning has begun with a home run. Solo shot to right center. Home run number 16 for him on the year as we are all knotted up at two. Number 20. We'll see what he can do here with two on and two out here in inning number five. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at bat. It's nothing in one. Curveball bounces, and this one gets away. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. And here's a big swing as he sends this one in the air out toward deep center. Beltron is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there. Dave Hauser will get another shot hit by a pitch his last time. And a jam shot here as this is sent towards second. Throw gets him two down.
number 20 will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. Second baseman, number 20. Hard hit towards center. Lays himself out and makes a spectacular catch. Well, this ball was hit pretty hard, and he's just hoping to get on base as the go-ahead run. But it kind of hangs up there a little bit too long, Justin and it finds the outfielder's Kyle. glove. Number 20 will get another shot after he was robbed of a hit on a gorgeous play his last time. Oh, he took a big swing that time as he lifts a high pop-up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. And no one will get this one. Bases are empty, one man out. And he pulled up in time, but it's a cold strike two. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. And now, as a hitter, one and two, you've got to be thinking right center field. He'll take a little swing out and try to drive something the other way. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Charles Cruz will dig in. Took a cold third strike his last time. And he'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. On to first, and that'll mean a 12th inning is in order as this inning is over. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. On to inning number 12 we go, and we are tied 2-2. Number 20 will stand in. Just one for five in this one. And this is fouled straight back. Here's a line drive. That's down. It'll give him the lead and then some. The go-ahead run will score. One run is scored. Two runs have scored. The tag, and he's out at second base. He probably should have stayed right where he was. Michael Chang will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. On to first, and that'll be a bitter pill to swallow for this home crowd as the ball game is over. Well, this one sure didn't come easy. It took them 12 innings to do it, but they come away with a great victory here on the road. Time for one last check of the line score in this extra innings victory. An entertaining game all in all, so if we have to choose one who stood out among all others, why not go with this man right here? He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, he was definitely a big part of this victory. You see there, four RBIs for him in the ball game. He came through when they needed him to, and he was instrumental in the wins. 